After a major setback yesterday, actor Salman Khan's bail plea is scheduled to be heard in the Jodhpur court today. The actor was sentenced to five years of imprisonment in the 1998 Blackpack poaching case by Jodhpur Sessions Court. He was also fined a penalty of 10,000 rupees. He was convicted under the Section 51 of the Wildlife Protection Act. The other actor who were co-accused in the case, Saif Ali Khan, Tabu, Sonali Bendre and Neelam were acquitted. Salman Khan is currently lodged in the Jodhpur Central Jail while he awaits a decision on his bail plea. I'm joined by my uh, legal correspondent, Jessica Taneja. Jessica, uh, my first question to you, uh, what's the, uh, what are the legal probabilities in, uh, in, in front of the, uh, the defense lawyer's team of Salman Khan's? Uh, make, tell our viewers as to what is, what is going to happen in the court. Uh, it's getting delayed because it has been listed after uh, some time. But then uh, what's, going to the, what's going to the day like to be for Salman Khan? Well, that is difficult to say, Kartike, but what we've heard from the defense lawyer, Mahesh Bora, Salman's lawyer, he said in the morning that he will uh, sort of try and challenge the witnesses' statements. He said they're not reliable, and that is the first step we are going to take in terms of getting a bail and appealing to a sessions court. They first go to the sessions court for an appeal uh, and for a bail, and then if that is denied, of course, there is more legal recourse available to Salman Khan. Ahead of that, they can even uh, challenge of this order in the High Court as well. If you've seen what's happened in the past uh, with the same legal procedures in the two Chinkara poaching case, in the Arms Act case, this is the, probably the third one that has gone through the trial court. What happens uh, usually in, in the past that he's seen from the track record of his cases going to trial court, then to High Court, then to Supreme Court, has been pretty much in a similar uh, format where the trial court convicts him of five years or minimum one years in case of Chinkara and the Arms Act. Then he uh, approaches the uh, you know, the Rajasthan High Court, which had acquitted him of all charges, and then Rajasthan government challenged it in the Supreme Court in 2016. So one cannot say whether this will be the same as what has happened in the past uh, 19 years in this case. But yes, Salman Khan has a lot of legal recourse available to him right now. First, his lawyer will have to provide an evidence of sort or, or uh, a more strengthened evidence as to why this order does not stand. Firstly, Firstly, he will have to go and ask for bail in the Sessions Court, uh, which will, of course, uh, be a difficult task for him. You know, uh, uh, Jessica, if I'm not wrong, there, there is a case also pending in Supreme Court of Salman Khan. Absolutely, that is uh, the hit and run case, uh, Kartike, and uh, that is still going on. Uh, even though he got an acquittal from the High Court, but it is being challenged in the Supreme Court. It's still being heard. Of course, it's a dormant uh, uh, you know, uh, case right now. It's it's not in in the in the usual day-to-day -day hearings, but yes, it is still in the Supreme Court. And lastly, uh, Jessica, before I let go of you and go to my guest who joins me in the studio, uh, how likely is the chance for bail? You know, can the bail be denied? Are those those probabilities do they exist? Absolutely, Kartike. It is up to the Sessions uh, uh, you know, Court as to how and on what basis will he get that bail. In the past, he has been able to get bail. He spent one week in jail in the past and then he was granted a bail. And then the matter was moved uh, to the High Court. So, of course, we can expect uh, you know, that he, he could be, he could not be. One cannot really preempt or predict. But uh, that is up to his lawyers on how hard they fight his case from now on. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you for joining me. My uh, legal correspondent, Jessica Taneja, uh, joined me from Supreme Court in telling us that uh, there are a lot of things which are going to happen. I'm also joined by Mr. R.K. Gaur from uh, Studio Supreme Court Law. Sir, uh, let me uh, take this opportunity to ask you, bail is also part of your legal rights. You know, you can yeah. always uh, move the court for the bail. Uh, but in this case, uh, what's going to, what's likely scenario in front of the judge? Because the arguments have taken place and the defense has argued that you know think about 1500 crore of rupees think about the people who are dependent on the business so what's going to be that transaction about see somebody's business may not be a ground to grant or reject the bail bail is a matter of human right bail is a matter of personal liberty as a matter of right salman khan should be granted bail because the appeal process will take years to uh, 
complete. So, as a matter of fact, the uh, bail should be granted, but the appeal should be dismissed. See, in 201 pages of judgment passed by the competent court, he has exhaustively discussed what 28 witnesses said and what is the statement of the eyewitness. Eye, eyewitness has specially identified Salman Khan shooting the Chinkaras. So, there is no uh, such thing that he is, he can acclaim innocence. But it is, it is, it has been huge trial taking a lot of time of trial court. The appeal process will take time. So, in the meanwhile, during the pendency of a, uh, appeal, he should be granted bail. This is my personal opinion. And the law of the land is bail is the rule, jail is the exception. Uh, but sir, uh, is it also possible that he might not get bail because of uh, time, <coughs> number of cases before him? Are those, is that yes, a possibility? Yes, that, that is also a possibility. And that possibility cannot be ruled out that it, A, this may be adjourned for some other day because the trial court record has to come. The session, uh, the session judge is not having uh, the trial court record, so he may ask for the trial court record and he may fix some other date. This is possibility number one, which is which happens inevitably in all cases. I think that's a very interesting point you have raised. Uh, is it mandatory for the judge who gives the bail to call for that uh, Undoubtedly. record? And Undoubtedly. And why is it required? If you can explain it to the benefit see, of our viewers. See, the, uh, Salman Khan has preferred the appeal. Salman Khan has preferred an application for suspending the sentence. Now, the trial judge has said what has to be examined by the session judge. So, unless the appellate court has the trial court record, he cannot value or weigh the evidence, the pleadings made by Salman Khan's lawyer. See, he has to call for the records. So, normally it is called uh, uh, by, by the judge. And the same thing happened in, in Bombay case also. It is mandatory to uh, mandatory for the sessions judge or the appellate judge to call for the trial court records and uh, look into it and then uh, listen to both the sides and judge. And okay, I, I think that's a that's a very important point. But before I uh, go back to my uh, distinguished guest, so how did things fall apart for Salman Khan? How did? He find himself facing the heat in a Jodhpur courtroom, surrounded by irate members of the Bishnoi community. Here is a breakdown of what all has happened between that fateful night in October 1998 and today's judgment. Twenty years ago, a multi-star of Bollywood extravaganza dazzled the silver screen. And two decades later, the movie, or at least the stars therein, are making headlines once again. The lead star of the film, Salman Khan, was accused of poaching black bucks while shooting for the film in Rajasthan in 1998. Nine years later, he was sentenced by the Rajasthan High Court to five years in prison. Superstar was forced to spend five days in a jail in Jodhpur, was granted bail later. Then, in 2016, the High Court acquitted the actor in the poaching cases leading to a huge public outcry. Later that same year, the state government submitted an appeal in the Supreme Court which decided to fast-track the case. Twenty years after the first complaint was filed in the case, Salman Khan has been found guilty and slapped with a five-year jail sentence. His co-stars, however, have been acquitted. Bureau report, Vion. So, firearm. So, th this is the... This is the uh the ANZ of the case uh, in which Salman Khan has been uh, sentenced to five years. But uh, Mr. Gaur, let me ask you, curiously, Salman Khan got convicted, but there were four other actors there. Uh, they were acquitted by the court. So, uh, what documentary evidence actually led to Salman Khan's conviction and what absence of other documentary absence which led to acquittal of uh, actors like Tabu, Neelam and Saif and Sonali Bendre? See. The trial is conducted on the basis of the evidence, the witnesses, the statement of the witnesses, documentary evidence, forensic evidence and various other facets. In the present case, an eyewitness has specifically identified Salman Khan 
having gun in his uh, arms and shooting the chinkaras. So statement of the eyewitness is of pivotal Im importance. The same very witness has not identified other people like Saif or girls sitting at the back. Though some other witnesses have said so, but the eyewitness has specifically identified only Salman Khan. That is the pivotal reason of convicting Salman Khan and exonerating other accused persons. Now, the entire case. In this entire case, 28 number of witnesses were produced by the uh, prosecution. 10 number of defense evidence were produced by the... But sir, what actually nailed Salman Khan? You know, if I have to ask you uh, point blank, what what actually nailed? Is it the wep uh, was it the weapon, blood, uh, the vehicle, or the fact that someone was saying that the Salman had actually shot that black buck? See, uh, circumstantial evidence as well. A, the eyewitness has identified. B, it is Salman Khan who has called for the weapon from Mumbai to Jodhpur. So, this is also in evidence. Three, blood found on uh, the seats of gypsy used in poaching. And other circumstantial evidences which have uh, been uh, shredded so well that evidence was, you know, they, they were so articulate that there was no other point of view okay. left before the judge except to convict Salman Khan. Thank you, Mr. Gaur. Thank you, Mr. Gaur, for joining me on this uh, edition of, uh, of uh, Vion on Salman because this is one story we are going to track. Uh, the argument for bail by defense has started in the court and we've been given to believe that uh, the defense lawyers are uh, arguing that he must be given a bail because of the business because of the money because of the livelihood which uh, which is also uh, sustained by Salman Khan but ultimately the bottom line is that uh, it depends on the judge it depends on the procedure it depends on the paperwork it depends whether the formality of the court is complete uh, and uh, this is and uh, this is this is one story as we have been telling you we, we are going to stay put on and uh, I think uh, I'm still left with more time to stay put on this uh, story. So one more question to you, uh, Mr. Gaur. Who was the key witness, in your opinion, who actually nailed this case for these uh, film stars? See, the eyewitness, which is Poonam Chand, Shera Ram, which is another witness who have followed, uh, and other who have followed the gypsy of uh, film stars, and the forensic evidence. A medical board was constituted and in, in that medical board it was firmly opined the reason of death and then uh, the documentary evidence, the manifest of Air India and, and uh, the other facets, the linking corroborative evidence which speaks for itself that Salman Khan was guilty. You know, I think uh, this is a bit of a breaking news which is uh, coming in. There is a bit of a breaking news coming in and as you very rightly pointed out, Mr. Gore, hearing is going to continue tomorrow. That is the, that is the uh, basic process. You actually said this uh, 10 minutes back that there is a possibility that Mr. Khan might not get bailed today. And I've been, uh, given, I've been, I've been informed by our reporters from uh, Jodhpur that there is a bail hearing uh, uh, tomorrow. And as you, as you very rightly pointed out, the judge actually called for the record. That that happens. Uh, so uh, now, since you since you were explaining, the record will be called for. Can you please tell me why is this record mandatory and why is this record sought? See, uh, Salman Khan has moved an appeal against the impugned order. He has only affixed, annexed the uh, impugned order before the appellate court. Now, what is the evidence on based on the basis of what? The trial judge has convicted Salman Khan and acquitted others. The appellate judge has nothing before him. He has to call for the record what was there before the trial judge. That on, then only he can adjudicate what is right, what is wrong in his point of view. And then what would the defense say, what would the prosecution say. This, this is, all depends on the basis of whatever happened in all those 20 years. But the court is also going to sit on Saturday. That happens. The court set in this country on Sunday as well. At the VR, uh, when, when Absolutely, somebody I wants that. to be hanged. So in Yakub Memons, it, yes. it uh, sat at the VRs. So uh, 
the justice has to prevail whether it is saturday or sunday the just the course of the, the justice has to take its own course and nothing uh, can hamper that course be it salman khan or be it a passer by so you 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 you're saying that the court will sit on saturday but if i keep all that if i keep all that aside uh, you know when sonali bendra and other people were let off uh, and 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 they were they were acquitted i would ask this question to you you know i'll go to my colleague akansha first you know she's she's there with more details but i would definitely like to ask you sir as to what what could have been the grounds for them to be let off uh, because they were the part they also participating participated in the killing of the black baba akansha to you uh, please uh, update us on the latest details from the court All right, uh, Karthik. You know uh, we are yet to confirm whether the bail hearing is, uh, you know, the application hearing is actually on. But uh, reports are suggesting that the bail hearing is actually uh, it's it's. it's actually on at the moment however let me bring in the trade aspect uh, related to salman khan the brand i think i have to stop you for a minute akansha there's a bite coming in from jodhpur i'll uh, cut across to that bite dekha dasti di jayegi jari karenge to kal tak ke liye talab kiya hai to nishchit aur pe record prapt ho jaye aur yadi record prapt nahi hoga to isme sunai jayegi kal saturday hai to yahan par report khulega kal nahi nishchit aur pe adhinish nehla mein working hai aur kaam kare kal kitni baje karib is tarah ki ne usme petition ne adhikar diya gaya hai ye unke sab So I think the lawyer are very categorically uh, saying that the uh, the bail hearing will take place tomorrow. Yes, a uh, finish your point, Akansha. Right, Karthik. So we just heard uh, the lawyer, you know, uh, stating that the bail hearing has been now shifted to tomorrow, and that uh, brings us to the conclusion that Salman Khan will uh, be spending yet another day in jail. And uh, of course, it's been uh, a very, very tough night for uh, the actor who has actually reportedly uh, refused to eat anything. But coming to the brand that Salman Khan is, you know, there's a lot of money riding on the star, uh, including, you know, uh, whether it's the endorsement deals or the films per se you know let's uh, not discount the fact that he's a big uh, you know he's a, he's a superstar he's a, he's a bollywood mega star and that also could be one reason why you know bollywood is rallying heavily behind the star they feel that you know uh, the the sentence is uh, too harsh but as mr gor aptly pointed out that you know law must take its own course and that nobody can actually go scot free uh, you know uh, coming to the films that salman khan has done uh, dabang 3 uh, you know kick uh, the the sequel to kick and bharat uh, were films that he was already in talks with they were expected to go on the floor very very soon uh, while uh, he had already finished uh, the the shooting for race 3 which was of course a very very uh, big franchise and was being touted as one of the most anticipated films in bollywood so let me quote you know there's clearly an amount you know uh, as per my sources uh, you know I, i spoke to trade analyst mr komal nata and he confirmed that you know there's close to 600 to 700 crore rupees riding on the actor and uh, you know if if he actually has uh, you know if he, if he's uh, if he has to spend those 5 years in imprisonment then that could actually give a major hit to the single uh, you know uh, theater cinemas and of course uh, be a huge loss to film producers and the entire bollywood fraternity back to you kartik Thank you, Akansha. Thank you uh, for this update. So, as I was asking you, why would uh, so, you know uh, Sonali Bendre, Neelam, Saif Ali Khan, uh, they were let off? They participated in the killing, you know. And there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of in, uh, judicial instances where people have been penalised for watching a crime. That is right. But uh, from page number one ninety seven to page number two hundred, the judge has categorically discussed this perspective. The witness says, "I." saw three girls sitting at the back but i do not identify them so that paves the way for these girls to go scot free now saif ali khan was uh, also there in in the car but he was also not identified he was also not uh, you know saw uh, you know no witness has identified him saying that kill these chinkaras so somebody may have been present but somebody may have not killed they have not stated anything against salman khan that does not make them accused to convict their presence may not be a solitary thing you know but one more thing which is very interesting i saw in the entire judgment and i could not locate that no forensic investigation or no cyber investigation is done in this case 
See, the presence of the accused persons can be identified if you look at the location of these accused persons. They may not have been identified by the locals, but if their cell phone shows the location of these accused persons at a particular place, which is assimilated with the fact that chinkaras were dead and weapons were found and forensic evidence says these are the gunshots from this firearm, that has not been done. Why do you think, why do you think this has not been done? Is it because uh, the prosecution uh, did not pay attention to these details? See, normally they do not pay. In, in states, we, say, uh, we uh, normally see that such process is not resorted. We are not talking about Stone Age, we are talking about 98 and 98 to 2006. Nobody bothered to collect the location or the CDR of these, the mobile phones held by these actors. This is something which is... Is it, correct, is it correct to say that they had their mobile phones at that particular point of time? See, who goes without the mobile phone? Kartike ji, do, I mean, do we afford to go without mobile phones? At least that investigation had to be looked into. Investigator could not make such blunders. First thing in, in any of the criminal investigation is the location of the accused person. Basically, you're saying is that uh, the technology part or, uh, you know, the technological uh, progress which has taken place, which is DNA investigation, those things were not looked in by the... Uh, by the investigation, investigating authorities, the prosecution did not take help of the advancement which has been made in technology. Undoubtedly. And our police is actually very poor in, in, uh, in uh, investigating such offences. But the matter does not end here. I think uh, Mr. Khan will have to fight his battle all the way up to the Supreme Court. That is right. That has to go up to up till Supreme Court. But who will fulfil the lacunas left by the investigators? They tried their level best. If you look at the evidence, first post-mortem conducted by a doctor was actually set aside. He, he was booked also and FIR is registered against him also. A medical board was constituted to conduct another post-mortem and the report came forward which, which uh, articulated the uh, cause of death of these Shankaras. Okay. But as a matter of fact, we actually overlook forensic investigation and cyber investigation in normal time.